I was watching the Michael Jordan documentary the other day and it reminded me of the contribution Dennis Rodman made to personal injury tax law. You may recall Dennis, he was a bad boy, he had a reputation for being a wild man. And in one game in the 90s, he got into an altercation with a cameraman and the cameraman ended up getting kicked in the groin. The cameraman didn't appreciate that. He threatened to file a lawsuit against Dennis and eventually the personal injury claim was settled. And in connection with that settlement, the man got a lot of money and he also had to sign a confidentiality agreement saying he wouldn't talk about the money that he got or the case in general. Now, normally, personal injury settlements or verdicts, both in Pennsylvania and around the country, are not taxable. The money that injured people get is not considered income, it's considered compensation for injuries, and therefore it's not taxable. However, in the Dennis Rodman case, the IRS got wind about the large settlement and about the relatively minor injuries and they got suspicious and they decided to present a claim for tax against the injured guy saying, the money that you got really wasn't for your injury, it was for your confidentiality, it was for your silence, it was for you going away. And the IRS ended up winning and the man had to pay tax on a percentage of his settlement. So the lesson to be learned is that personal injury settlements and verdicts are usually not taxable but if you have a confidentiality agreement, they may be partially taxable, so that has to be addressed. So that's Dennis Rodman's contribution to personal injury tax law.